good morning. I am the only one up. I'm at my dad's flat. We had a commitment in Cardiff last night, so we stayed over at my dad's. And today, it's a homeschooling day, but a bit of a complicated one. So here's how we're going to manage things. First, I'm going to go and give Izzy another knock because I've already given her a knock and she hasn't got up. And she needs to get out of bed. Izzy, half past eight. Come on, up you get. Izzy's got to go for bloods today, get her blood tested. Now, since we're at my dad's, and since my dad is quite good at maths, dad is going to sit in with us for maths this morning and offer his expert help. <laughs> He's actually studied the lesson yesterday while we were out, so we'll see how that goes. We've never tried granddad helping maths before. This could be a good thing. Then I think we'll probably do some English and then get the train up to where we have to get Izzy's blood tested, have a blood test, go home and then finish our school off for the day. What I should have been doing this morning was to get up really early and start working on the poster for the new band we've put together for Lisbon, but I was too shattered. I woke up at half past five this morning and just couldn't get back to sleep for ages and ages and ages, and so I didn't get up till eight o'clock, and there's not enough time really to get into it now. We're going to have to have breakfast and stuff, and people are going to start coming into the front room. So I'll have to do it tonight. So if there's been any breaks to the uploads, I do apologise. I'm just a bit busy at the moment. Well, we've done an hour, haven't we, chaps? An hour? Yep, yeah, an hour so far. We allocate one hour per day for maths, and it's just it's just not enough at the moment, unfortunately. Uh, we're doing multiplication of thirds, uh, which is all fun and games. I'd just like to take the opportunity to show you the photo math app which I got from Mario's channel who's the maths teacher in New Zealand. Basically you can use it to take a photograph of your equation that you're struggling with and you want to know how to do. Right let's go for this one here. So you get it in shot and then you take a photo and then it works it out if you like that which is right apparently and then it can show you the solving steps like this you see so if you're really not understanding it it breaks it down really simply for you, like that, you see? So it's a good learning tool, but don't use it to cheat, kids. I'm laughing at Dad because I've just got the camera out and all of a sudden he's got his comb out and he's combing his hair. <laughs> he is traumatised. <laughs> I don't see the point of learning it because I'm never going to use this in my entire life unless I have a certain job which I really don't want. So why do I need to do it? Because either that or jump over 25 cows. All I prefer up. to jump over 25 cows. <laughs> that would be easier. <laughs> Me and Dad need coffee. Even Dad needs coffee, don't you, Dad? Dad loves maths. <laughs> Isabel's just said she would never homeschool her child. Because I don't want to do work. When, when I'm finished with homeschool, I'm never doing anything again. <laughs> She's having a little treat. <laughs> Perk the brain cells up. We're doing alright. We've done a third of the questions now. We've done the lesson. We've yep, understood no, no, we're it going kind of. To brackets. Oh. Brackets. <laughs> Fourteen. This looks. We're amazing. on the home straight, chaps. Look, just two left. Oh, we've been sat here nearly another hour. I'm getting another impatient. fifty minutes. We've been it. took us two hours, <laughs> two hours, <laughs> but at least we have done it completely accurately. Oh my goodness, this is traumatic. The carnage. I have a break. I'll check the train times. Break, break, break. Grandad is very taken with the photo math app, aren't you? He's oh, downloaded yes. it. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Mario. Dad has very kindly done us a bit of lunch. Thanks, Dad. You might have had a slight mm. pie disaster there. Yeah. <laughs> it's hot. Chicken pies for the meat eaters. Ouch. We're making our way to the station. Off to the hospital. Get Izzy's blood done. I could not have parted with you, my Lizzie, to anyone less worthy. 
we're on the last chapter. Just having a little pause as he's checking when her Puritan is due. Yeah. Izzy's got some squash on the go. Um, when you get your blood tested, you need to make sure you're good and hydrated because sometimes they can't get it out otherwise. Izzy's quite an experienced veteran at blood tests now and um, can confirm that this is the case. So if you're going for a blood test, just make sure you're hydrated. We've finished, oh yeah. We've read the whole of Pride and Prejudice. Oh, it took, how long was that, six weeks? It was very wordy. Did you enjoy it? It was wordy. But, yes. Oh, good. Well, we can watch the DVDs now. Yeah. Granny's lent us a DVD set. I'll show it to you later. And there's no point in doing any more work right now because the next stop is ours for the hospital. I've still got all my gigging gear with me here. My flutes in my bag because I haven't been home since the gig. I've done the deed. Well, the deed has been done. How do you yeah. feel? Good. Took less than a minute. Did it hurt? Yes. But like, I'm used to it now, because I do them so frequently. Oh, well done, Is. We're off to get a treat for Isabel now. We're not getting that one. We're letting it go by. Ours is the next one. And I shiver, and the hairs rise on the back of my neck. And then I hear it. Back on the train again. We managed to squeeze an extra ten minutes of English in there on the train station, so we can chop that off later when we get in. We're home and we've got a lot to do. We've still got biology, the rest of English language and history to do today. And it's already gone half past three. So Izzy's cracking straight on with the video lesson for biology uh, because she was ill last week and she's forgotten everything she watched. So she's just gonna have to rewatch the video. I'm on hot chocolate and coffee duty and Isabel's having a little bit of a Jaffa cake feast because that was the treat that she chose on her way back from the train station. So the cell is the osteocyte. They're grouped together to make bone tissue. These spaces are filled with bone marrow and red and white blood cells. She's under pressure. She's got two minutes. She's studying this sheet for the names of the bones. And then when the time is up, she's going to turn that over and look at this and try to match up all the labels here. And so it begins. All done now, so these are now all correct because we've rearranged the ones that were not quite remembered and Izzy's just writing them up neatly for her assignment on the sheet, which looks like this one. We're now just starting our practical for last week because Izzy was ill last week, we missed most of the biology. Oh, it's got a bit of an annoying top on it, that vinegar, hasn't it? Give it a good hard squeeze. So we're gonna soak this chicken bone that we got from Grandad for one week. And then we're going to have a look to see what happens to it and we'll make sure that we film it when it's finished and see what happens. <laughs> you enjoying that, Isabel? <laughs> Pick a funny noise, isn't it? Is it covered? Oh, yes. Yeah. Only just fits, doesn't it? <laughs> I think that's enough. I'm so unmature, I find that's all fun. <laughs> Won't use that much. That's all right. It's very cheap. It's only about 40 pence, I think. It's quarter past five. Izzy's upstairs working on her laptop. I've just quickly gone through some of last week's history because she's getting really behind with the history because of being ill last week. So she's gone up to finish off last week's work on her laptop, which hopefully will speed her up because it's much faster to do things on a laptop. And I have desperately got to start going through these tune sets, which I have to practice for our Lisbon gigs coming up. Today, IB has been working with the singer guitarist, Neil, and they've been working on tunes Day. Last week they were working on songs and I couldn't make that rehearsal because I was uh, looking after Izzy because she was poorly and today I had to take her for blood so I couldn't make that rehearsal either. Ah! So I'm just going to go do some work quickly now and maybe there'll be some English work she can do independently, I don't know. We'll just see when we get to it. Oh my word, ten to seven and we've almost finished. Just taking a quick pause to show you something. <laughs> How is it doing? My injury. Uh, how's it feeling? I don't really feel the pain anymore. It's okay, is it? Still got a bruise. Was it a bruise? Yes, he bruised it. Oh. Mm, and sure. blood from the... Oh, so oh. dramatic. My stab wound. Because oh. they stabbed me. Let's do the last 10-15 minutes and then we are done. I'm going to cook food. 15 minutes. Yeah, it's been a long day today, hasn't it? It's been a bit much, but there we are. It's been way too yeah, it's better than getting really behind. Yeah. It's just, yeah, let's get on. We are done for the day. And Isabel is um, a 
adorning our window by the look of things. It's dark outside so I can actually show you our window. She's uh, going a little bit crazy with the Halloween decorations. Do you know what I think you should do, Isabel? What? I think you should take the skeletons out of the build a body oh, yeah, game yeah, and that. pose them in different positions. I do skeletons more. in the closet, sorry. Yeah, you can go for it, but as long as they go back in the box after Halloween, I don't mind. Okay, I'm going to put this one up here so I don't have to blue tack it. She's, she's made some orange and black paper chains. But right now we're both hungry and I'm going to go and cook some dinner. But thank you so much for watching today. Do give the video a like if you liked it. Comment down any thoughts below and hit that subscribe button to follow more of our adventures. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>